Welcome back, MTG Joe here with some more of the Mythic Points Challenge. Uh, we're currently sitting two and two. Uh, this was the tournament that you got to enter if you finished top 1200 in January on the Mythic Ladder. Uh, so played three first three matches on stream, played the fourth match um, while I was eating lunch. Uh, lost to Rakdos Aristocrats. Uh, misplayed in game one where I had Dream Trawler and a Donna Hope token. I accidentally clicked attack all where my token got chumped. And then they were able to Priest and um, Angrath's Rampage my uh, Dream Trawler away. So kind of got burned there. Second game uh, just kind of got to rest the hell and uh, they took away all my threats. Uh, so here we are. Uh, we will be playing uh, match five. Uh, sorry, the deck itself playing blue white control. The main difference with my version playing Donna Hope main it gets around Elspeth Conquer's death. Can create you lifelink tokens and give you card advantage with the life gain in the deck. And then two brazen borers as a disruption spell, uh, as well as an early threat against the uh, blue based mirrors. And so we're going to play this one. There's a lot of good players in this tournament to finish top 1200, so you really kind of get punished for your misplays. Mm. Opponent goes first, absorbs a little worse, but we have removal on two if it's an aggressive deck. So they're showing us information on one green. I think I'm going to get rid of that. So this can be Jun Sacrifice perhaps. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to be able to counter on three so let's try to f use this to find an untapped blue source. I can always, um, if they play like uh, Mayhem Devil, I can glass casket it. It's fine. Uh, follow up absorbs, probably not bad. Because this turn I'm going to go Glass Casket on the Devil while they don't have an oven up. If they Corvold next turn, we basically lose. So we need to duck one turn of Corvold and then we're okay. Vraska will come and then hit the, the casket. These lists don't usually play Vraska anymore. Um, just play this tapped. A little unfortunate. Drawing a lot of lands. Let's just veto this. They don't need to see our hand. Good thing right now they're only hitting for three a turn. But they will be able to start creating food and then sacrificing that as well. Yeah, they got a nice card advantage engine going. Mana kind of screwed us over here, and with Mayhem Devil out, these tokens aren't that good. It's fine. Like this, we can... Uh, Hedge around. 
I'm not going to block this turn because I want to use the omen. I'm going to take a point of damage, however, <clears throat> but I want to try to find a board wipe or an Elspeth Conquer's death. Pretty dead in this one. That is an option. So we can take one more turn of attacks, but I think we need to do this now. Again, we're weak if they have Corvold, but we got to play to the board. Okay, they just have Oven. This is also getting alarmingly close to ultimate. Okay, so they take the counter out of our hand. They use their three remorse. Well, this is the plan. This is my trawler. We can attack into Vraska, take it down a bit. Okay, so they have Corvold. So they can, they have to sack something. That takes it to five, and then they can take it to six. Teferi would actually be pretty solid right now, just because we could bounce this Corvold. Let's us get in for an attack. Interesting, they're doing that now. another land well, I need to do this now because if I don't draw to fairy I'm basically dead yeah yep they got it it's an awful draw devout decrees Arkans intervention in this matchup I want Aether Gusts as well, perhaps. Let's get rid of the Vetoes. Narset's pretty good. Teferi's okay in this matchup. Brazen Borrower is a tempo play, but probably could cut down on these just because it's really bad with Mayhem Devil. Um, they're probably bringing in a way to force us to sacrifice that, so let's differentiate. This is really bad with them having Vraska. Also, 1-1s one aren't that good. Probably cut down. Glass Casket's also bad in this matchup since they have Vraska and they likely have Brontodon. I'm just going to shave it to Fairy. Just run it like that. We weren't really able to establish any flow to that game. I'm likely to draw another land and I don't particularly need it right now. I'm using their Fabled Passage now without a Mayhem Devil's better. Um, 
I think we just go Tef bounce the food token. Because I don't want them to create another food with Trail of Crumbs. And they can just play it out next turn. That's annoying. Let's see if they value the counter or the removal. They go counter. Just bring out the oven. So Oven invalidates Decree, but Decree can still hit like Vraska. We're missing red mana. And they have the cat. So I'm going to do this just to force them to sack. So I'll play out Narset here. Kind of regret doing that now. Okay, so they can't draw. Aether Gust is decent on this board state because of Corval, but I do have. Let's just go Omen here, actually. Oh no, this gets around the draw, though. That's a permanent, it's not a draw. Shuts off Corvold, though. Heliod's intervention would be really good right now. Interesting, they're going after Teferi, knowing that we have the second in hand. Okay, so they're just ridering. Makes sense. Mm. This matchup's probably awful. We need more action. That is action. So I can shatter the sky. So I can do this for two right now, but they get this back. I can board wipe and they come back. I think we do this in response. Still ahead on clock, which is fine. Um, 
So I can do that before they bring the cat back or they have to sack the other one. And then that way it's not as good when we board wipe. So that gets rid of that extra food is which what we wanted. Okay, they got Corvold. See if they deploy the Corvold yet. Okay, they do. They eat the cat. So the nice thing is I have Decree on top that can deal with Corvold. I'm not going to let them go to combat here so they don't get the Corvold trigger. You know, maybe I just do this do this now they'll get a card draw out of it but whatever like significant black or red threat comes out and that gets the cat and the the goose off the board okay that's fine Gonna do this with the trigger on the stack. So they don't get the draw. So we need something other than Teferi's in hand. That's actually very good. Let me just see if I can draw like Trawler. do this. If they have Croxa, then I can, in response to the trigger, play it out. They have Remorse. Let's just get rid of their threat here. That's perfect. So we're gonna do this now. I need an extra card in hand to discard to a Dream Trawler if they have removal. And then just pass the turn. Should be able to hopefully close this out pretty quick, Trawler into Trawler. So I'll wait to see if they block or not, and then this side. Actually, we'll wait on the omen, because then I can do it when I have two out. 
It's a better play. So even if they have casualties, they can blow up three of them. Actually, they can't even blow up our trawler. So we get around that, which is nice. We're at 19 on the clock. We get double draws off these, so that should refill our hand. They can block sack to prevent some of the life gain. Yeah, and with Arkin, that's pretty much a wrap. Sack. Just play it out like that. Say go omen and C on end step. Got him. Okay. Um, Narset's probably not needed in this matchup, at least on the play, probably just bring in the Borrowers. Just more disruption, bounce Corvold. Really I think this game is just us keeping Corvold off the table. an early blocker if they have time or agonizing remorse they take our Arkin just thin out our deck right now so we're looking for enchantments for Arkin Conquer's death is also nice okay I would like to stop drawing lines please Opponent's got a slow draw, which is nice. I think we just board wipe here. We board wipe here and then, because they can't, if they play Corvold, then we have this the next turn. Or I could devote Decree both of them. Yeah, let's maybe do that. Next turn's Arkin. Hopefully that plays around. If they play Corvold, then I Conquer's Death it. Interesting. They went after a land. Having this around is insurance against Angrath's Rampage. Oven. Goose. So they'll have the dry engine going. Ooh. That's interesting, because I could counter their next... Ah, I think we just jam trawler and try to win.
Because if it dies somehow here, I bring it back. They're also on the the tax here. Okay. Doesn't bode too well for the opponent there. Second goose, so they can block a couple turns now. Ooh, brazen bars, nice. So we're gonna see, ideally what I'd like to do is play out Sun's Grace and then have Absorb back up. I'm gonna counter this. I wanna get in the attack and the card draw. And I like everything in my hand right now. There was the play I could have let it die and get it back, but I wanna start putting pressure on the opponent. Interesting. They don't even block sack. By countering it, they don't get to cast it again, and then it's another creature. Okay, so they're getting flyers, which is kind of annoying. But this turn, okay, so they have cat. That can draw them a bit of cards. So I'm gonna bounce the goose. I can bounce the oven. Okay, bounce trail. Trail's basically what's giving them card advantage right now. It forces them if they want to use it, they have to do their goose now. Or I can do this. They also can't sack to stop my brazen borrower. This just forces the action out of them and then gives us information as to what they have in hand. 15. Okay, another cat. Just land. So again, let's attack first, get the most information possible. Second Arkin. Okay. So I think the plan here is play out Arkin, Shockin, and then Flash and Brazen Borrower. And then next turn I can Arkin and Omen of the Sea and then get uh, two tokens. Two of our three devout decrees, we still have two conquers death. We're at 39 cards in library, we're at 42. I 
I've gained quite a bit of life just with these cats, which is kind of annoying. Aether Gust is great versus Corvold. Corvold's basically all I care about, or even if they have like casualties, I don't even care that much about. I probably should have played this because now I can't play Omen and uh, Aether Gust. Ceratops. So I can Aether Gust the Ceratops. Okay, so let's see. They can block here, here. Ceratops blocks here. Let's Aether Gust. because they can't play it this turn. Uh, let's see how they block. If they don't, okay, so they do block there. Gain the life. I think I want to keep the Teferi for Corvold. So let's just play Teferi and plus it. I want to keep the negative if they have Corvold. Obviously, it doesn't deal with Ceratops. But they're at four here. They'll gain some life. We're at 16 minutes, they're at 12 and a half ish. Broke him. Broke the opponent. All right, three and two. Did not think we'd take that match. All right, I'm gonna wrap this one up and we'll be back for game match six uh, fairly shortly. Just gonna take the dog for a walk and then we'll be back. <laughs> 